my other comedian friend, Allie Bruner. Man, I, I don't know what I would have done at her place. But apparently she had to go through a lot of court goop, gobbly goop, I call it. Because her and her friend back in May did some promoting blip thing, I don't know what you want to call it, but she decided to go to this public park along with her friend to tell people that were in the park or, or people just passing by when her next performance was going to be and where. So, you know, in their effort to promote this, her next performance, her friend got charged with being disorderly and whatever. And apparently somebody at the park was holding a, an event and they thought that his behavior was troublesome and turbulent and vulgar. And so, so then they had to go to court. Her friend was charged. And they fought, I think, three or four days in court. And they won. Yay, because, you know, she, he was doing nothing that offended Allie directly because she wanted him to, to, you know, promote her. And she, like me, we are not hung up on all these weird things. I mean, if we like it and we're giving somebody the permission to do so, then you're not violating us. You're doing what we're asking and that's fine. So they won their case, but that started me thinking, wow, what would happen if I ever got arrested? Can I get arrested? First of all, I really don't want to get arrested, but I remember as a teenager back in high school, a girlfriend and I, she was also disabled, and our high school was down around the Danforth and Cotswell area, and there was a police station down there under construction, and we had written up a couple of signs and went up and down in front of the police station a couple of times on our lunch break, so we weren't skipping class, and these signs read, you know, equal right, we want to get arrested too, because there was no way into that station, and so next thing you know, there's a ramp. So yay, that particular station, yes, we can physically get into that building. But that does make me wonder, because I've never gone through the process. I only see what's on TV and the television shows. So I begin to wonder, okay, the first step of getting arrested or, or charged or whatever is the police have got to apprehend you. Well, okay, I'm in a wheelchair, a power electric wheelchair. So how are they going to apprehend me? First of all, I can't get in the car. Do they have a van? Do they have a ramp? Can I get in the van? You know, because there's no way they're going to be able to pick me up and put me in the back of the car. I mean, physically, yeah, they could, but where are they going to put my wheelchair? Do they have one at the, at the station? You know, I mean, I, it's just so impractical. So, I mean, in some ways, I'm, I'm hoping that no disabled person ever really needs to get arrested or is stupid enough to get arrested. But, you know, in, in some bizarre, twisted way, you're making it very easy for us to maybe even think about felony crime because we know damn well that there's no way you're going to get us into jail because you don't have attendant care. You don't have bed pans. You don't have the ability to support our equipment that some of us have. So in essence, if, if whatever crime that we commit does not warrant death, then you'd be violating our, what is it, our human rights or our well-being and putting us in jeopardy. So, I mean, it, it's pretty much leaving the door open now, isn't it? It's kind of a scary thought. Nothing really to laugh at. Sorry, but it does make me wonder. Should I get arrested? 
Maybe I could do a, a bank robbery and get away with the money because I know they can't throw me in jail.